In this video, I'm going to show you how to install just about every UV tempered glass screen protector like a pro so you can avoid the common problems like lifting on the edges, these polymerization shrinkage lines, or experience issues with the in-screen fingerprint reader. You didn't pay a premium price to be unlocking the phone drawing patterns or typing in passwords like a peasant stuck in 2019 or something, so let me show you how to get your money's worth. You do not need protectors with so-called UV dots or expensive installation systems, and I'll put up a separate in-depth video to show you the common mistakes during each step, as well as explain why you may not want to buy the cheapest protectors, so check it out if you're interested in learning more. Regardless how the packaging looks, you will have a light that looks like this, a glue that comes in a tube like this, along with the cleaning cloth, and of course, the protector. So the first thing you're going to do is find a flat level surface that is not exposed to daylight to do the installation. Test the light and check the protector for form defects. If your light is not working, it may be a simple contact issue. I have seen the production and this part is relatively fail safe. Try wiggling it or putting pressure on it here and there to see if it works. I explain why form defects are so common in the in-depth video, but you can check for them by gently pressing on the four corners, then flipping it and pressing in the center. If you feel the protector flexing or lifting on one side like this, then you will likely experience an issue with the install or protector lifting after a day or two. Speaking of flexing, get a feel for how much or how little pressure it takes to flex. This is important for those of you wanting to use the in-screen fingerprint sensor as I'll explain later, but if you happen to purchase from us and you receive a defective one, all you have to do is break it and send us a photo and we will send out a replacement right away. Removing the case allows you to clean the edges more thoroughly. With the phone in its birthday suit, clean the screen remembering to tilt the phone side to side to ensure you get all the edges and inspect it under a strong light, tilting it at various angles to ensure you didn't miss any streaks. Now place the screen protector on the phone without peeling the back to see how it lines up and place the guide stickers over the buttons on either side so that the excess glue that runs down doesn't get in the buttons. I put the stickers up to right where the protector ends and this helps me with the alignment process. I also put a guide sticker over the speaker grill for the same reason but it doesn't always stay so you do want to keep an eye on it. Note 10, Note 10 Plus doesn't have a power button but I still align the sticker to be right at where the protector ends so that it can also serve as a guide for alignment. If you need to use the dust absorber sticker after, don't dab it, just drag it. Lay a piece of paper towel down to absorb the excess glue that seeps out, then uncap the glue to expose the pointy end of the tube and cut an opening. Look away and don't squeeze the tube when you cut because if the glue happens to flick in your eye, it'll be very painful. I haven't seen this brought up by others, but according to the MSDS sheet of the biggest manufacturer of this glue, this glue contains toxic chemicals including dimethyl acrylamide, among a few others. We do include a pair of gloves with every UV protector that we sell, but I didn't feel any side effects until the third install, so you might be okay, but I would recommend wearing gloves just to be safe. Now place the glue in the middle of the phone with the cut side down and uncap the other end to let the air in, allowing the glue to flow out. I find that dispensing it in an oblong shape helps to spread the glue more easily. Squeezing the tube without letting air in can introduce bubbles like this, but it can be fixed as I'll show you. If your phone isn't level like shown here, you can shim it up with the foam that the protector came in and spread the glue back to the oblong shape. It is very important for there to be no direct or indirect sunlight at the moment shining on the phone as it can partially cure the glue. You do want to remove all the bubbles before the next step. Peel the film off the protector and lower the speaker grill side to butt right up against the speaker grill and lower the other side. You may or may not have this notch, but the protectors are generally designed to cover up to the speaker grill. Speaking of which, most people aren't aware of this, but Note 10 does have a tiny opening for the ear speaker at the top of the phone and a lot of protectors do have a notch, but it's so small that it's easier to feel than to see. But you don't have to worry about taping up the hole because it's so small that the surface tension of the glue will prevent the glue from falling in. It's important to not touch it at this point. It should fill the whole surface on its own, but don't take off like I did the first time. Keep a close eye on it as the protector may slide a little bit during the process, but the movement should be minimal if your surface is level. Now is also the perfect time to take the cloth and dab up any excess glue you may have gotten on the frame. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes you would have to work the glue to spread it to the corners. If you have to, do not pick up the phone, simply press it with your finger to help the glue spread. Be gentle, but if it keeps letting air in when you let go, you may have a form defect and you may have to cure that one side while holding it down, but you may or may not have that edge lift later. Now that the glue has spread fully, the next step is very important to get the fingerprint scanner to work properly. Place the cleaning cloth or the sticker back over the sensor area to prevent this area from getting cured. Turn on the light and spend one minute to tack the edges in place. Hold it about an inch off the screen and tilt it along the edges. It's a good idea to set up a timer, but it really isn't possible to over cure this glue, so when in doubt, hold it for longer. Remove the cover, then gently press down on the area where this reader is. Remember that it doesn't take much pressure. If you press too hard, you can get this kind of line in a day or two due to polymerization shrinkage, which happens especially with these low viscosity type glues. It takes about the same amount of pressure 
as pressing up on the tip of your nose to make a funny face, which I'm sure is a part of everyone's daily routine. The sensor is located about a pinky finger's width above the bottom edge of the S10 and two pinky finger width above the middle on the Note 10 series. While pressing down on this area, cure for two minutes. After that's done, remove the finger and cure for another 2 minutes. Under curing can cause problems, but remember it's not possible to over cure the screw, so either set up a timer or, when in doubt, hold it for longer. Wipe the phone, re register the fingerprint, and you're done. If you have any questions, or if you had to make a funny face to see how hard you should press in the sensor area, I would love to hear from you. Drop it in the comments. I'm committed to answering every single question. Thank you for watching, and have a great rest of the day.